this video we're going to take a look at how we can set up a control for ourselves to make it very easy to get to external brushes and load them into the program via Lightbox with a shortcut. So you can see if I double click on this shortcut I've got a bunch of different uh, brushes. I've got some that I've made and then these are some uh, brushes that other people have made and I'd kind of like to point you to a brush set um, from the artist name Orb. And if I bring up a web browser, go navigate to this thread that you see here, and it's called um, Heroes of the Storm Art Dump, and this is by Orb. Uh, the brush set is by Michael Vincente, and this is his brush pack that he's got, and you can download this uh, for free. And so whenever you download it, uh, it's gonna be a RAR file that you can extract, and it's got all these different uh, brushes that you see here. And once you have those, you can extract those. Um, I'm going to show you on here real quick some tools that I've set up. So the way I like to kind of do this is I made a folder called ZBrush Tools. And then within there, I've got alphas, I've got brushes, my custom UIs that I've got, my hotkeys, um, just about everything you can think of that you need uh, to load into ZBrush to kind of help assist with the sculpting process. And so within this folder, Brushes, um, I've got my own brush sets in here and I've got other and then within other these are other people's brushes that I found that I think are pretty useful for some of the things that I've done and within this set you can see the orb brush set so this can sit anywhere I kind of suggest that you put this in some kind of place that is a location that is being uh, backed up via the web and it's on the cloud. That way you can get to this from any computer at any time. And if anything happens to your computer or you need to go sit at another computer, you're able to get to your different tools that you have. That's worked out rather well for me for whenever computers have died. And like I said, if I had to go to some other workstation and work and try to get the tools that I need, uh, they're always available to me. So um, within here, under brushes, if you just right click on here, and you say create shortcut, it'll create a shortcut for you. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this shortcut, and I'm going to copy it, and then I'm going to show you in ZBrush, it's pretty easy to find out the location of where um, these brushes sit. So where do you want to put this shortcut? You can click on any one of these brushes and you can see the location for where that sits. So if I hit uh, Windows E, bring up a new uh, Windows tab, I'm basically going to navigate to my computer, the C drive, and I'm going to go to program files like this, Pixel Logic, just like what you're seeing up there. Okay, and then we're going to go for me on this one is ZBrush 2019, and then I can go to Z Brushes, and then that's where I'll paste the shortcut. Now, the next time you come into ZBrush, you can have Lightbox open when it starts, or you can just tap the comma key and pull that up. If you tap on brushes, you should see it within there, and you should see a brushes sort shortcut. Um, now, if it's maybe too large and you're not seeing it, maybe something's going on where if you click and drag here, maybe this is a little bit too big on your interface and you're not seeing it, you need to click and drag over here to actually see it. But if you want to scale that down a little bit and... Um, have it be a certain size that you're kind of looking for. I've always found that this is kind of a sweet spot for me on this right there. So let's double click on there and um, yours is going to look a little bit different depending on the directory structure that you got, but mine is under under other. And then I've got uh, this brush set here under orb and you can see it's going to show you a nice uh, visual icon of what those brushes are. And so you can uh, double click on it and it'll actually load it. And then at that point, you're actually working with that uh, particular brush. Now this piece needs to go into Dynamesh mode. So I will go here to Dynamesh Master and then to say Dynamesh for that. And then once that's done, then we can start to sculpt on here and see some of the different brushes that we've got uh, from this particular artist. And uh, there's a lot of different uh, brushes within there that work rather well for these cracks. Um, you can do flatten. So I'll do Alt S to do the hotkey that I've got for um, the solo right in through there. And I'll keep working on that. And this one just flattens edges for you. Kind of like that. And let's take a look at uh, some of these other ones. Uh, there's a clay tubes version that uh, he's made. 
just do this and through here some of these kind of details maybe you need to go a little bit slower or else it does this kind of really jaggedy kind of lines you're probably not looking for that and if you're having a trouble with uh, things smoothing because your dynamesh is so high you can also do this you can hit the comma key and go to brushes and if you go to smooth I'm gonna find the smooth folder right here and within there there's a smooth stronger right here so if you double click that it's gonna tell you it's gonna use this as the smooth and if you do that it's gonna be a lot more intense in the uh, strength of the brush that you see there for that and so let's keep taking a look at some of these Go back to the shortcut, go to other orb, and um, you might be able to do some of these details, ones like this. This kind of just puts a little bit of surface noise and detail on things and has a pretty nice look to it. And then this one has got just a little bit of, if you want to add noise to the surface, that one's pretty nice for adding some slight noise to things. And we also got these uh, lines that you can do. And depending on the size of it, you can kind of drag these out like this. Or we can do um, slashes. drag out and if you want a large one they've got some of these orbs orb slash four and maybe you want this to be quite a bit stronger you can really put some nice size dents into the model and I still like a uh, trim dynamic for hitting corners and things like that like this kind of work and through here And let's see this uh, flatten, and it's protecting, it says it protects edges. So you can see some of the options that we get from this different uh, brush set. So it's a really nice brush set, and um, I just wanted to show you a way that you could easily find somebody else's brushes and start working with them, and then you could easily load them into ZBrush to give yourself a bit more flexibility for uh, some of the brushes that you're using for sculpting.